Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Gigi and this is my place. Um, I'm struggling with this video a little bit today because the first thing I want to chat about is really irritating. It's just irritating to me. Um, I love that as a species, humanity is heading in a really awesome direction. We're not there yet, but we're heading there. And I believe that as I have expressed in, in previous videos, I believe that we are coming out of this competitive uh, eat or be eaten survival of the fittest phase of our evolution is coming to an end. And we are going to become a more uh, cooperative species. I don't think we need to compete. I think cooperation is going to be the thing that saves humanity and but you still see a lot of people competing with each other and in and in doing that somehow believing that to tear somebody else down is rising you up that it somehow gives you clout that it makes you more important and it doesn't and recently there was a whole lot of hullabaloo over some fashion choices and artistic choices <clears throat> that a few ladies made um, one person particularly at an award show and another person at the Met Gala and <clears throat> in the one case the entire world set upon this girl for making a choice that was similar to another artist's choice years ago and God forbid that you should pay homage or show your appreciation for someone's work by doing something similar because now you're stealing it's just so tiresome. It's tiresome. And then the thought of tearing down somebody else's beautiful moment to highlight somebody else, I, can't, I don't understand that kind of behavior. And that happened over some close choices at the Met Gala. And somebody was stealing from somebody else because they wore a dress like Cinderella's. Okay. Cinderella ain't real, boo. And if if this person stole it, then the first person stole it. And Disney stole that idea from some other people who wrote a story who stole that idea from some people who told a story. The, the competing has got to stop. You do not straighten your own crown by pushing somebody else's off their head. It's just not how shit works. It doesn't make you pretty. It doesn't make you special. And it doesn't make you right. And without naming any names, that's my whole spiel on what happened in the fashion music world over the last few days. But let's get to the real meat of this episode, which vlog every day in May is hard, so I've decided today's episode is going to be about my favorite YouTube channels. And we're going to make it short and sweet. I'm not going to do a long diatribe about each channel. I'm just going to talk about a few of my favorites. Now, I do occasionally like to watch some cooking channels, but I only have a few that I'm subscribed to. And actually, one of the people that I subscribe to has not done a video in a long time, and I'm curious about what's going on with her. Her name is The Frugal Chef, and she has so many amazing recipes. And if you want to just go back and look at some of her older videos, because she's not been posting a lot lately, I would recommend it. She has got some great recipes. And from from a lot of, like, um, so, uh, South American places and a lot of, um, like, uh, Central American dishes. So it's very spicy and delicious. But also, she does her spin on other things, too. So I, I highly recommend her channel. Another person I really love uh, for cooking is Chef John over at foodwishes.com. He cracks me up. I love him so much. And I don't always love every recipe that he makes. You're never going to like any everything anyone does. But even when he's making something I don't enjoy or I don't think I'll enjoy, I still enjoy his presentation, so I usually do watch it. Um, I clearly watch a lot of nail shows. <clears throat> My favorites are Nail Career Education and Nao Nails. They're my two favorite ladies. But um, close, 
close seconds uh, after those two ladies are Be Glamorous Nails. I'm, I'm cheating. I have a list over here. Simply Nail Logical um, used to be one of my favorite channels for art, nail art, but she really just does silly stuff now, so only sometimes do I watch her. Um, I really like Long Hair Pretty Nails. She does a lot of interesting art. I like her stuff too. So those are just a few, because trust me, I could go on and on and on and on. Oh, but one of my favorites actually is um, uh, Selena Ryden. She is the, one of the brand ambassadors for Light Elegance. And even though I cannot order from them, um, there is a shop here in town that sells their stuff. So I may be demoing some of that on the channel sometime soon. Um, now I have recently been watching, um, a show called It's Me or the Dog, and that channel along with Zach George's, um, Dog Training Revolution, those two channels are so great if you have an animal that you are trying to, a canine specifically, trying to train and, uh, eliminate bad behavior so amazing even if you just want a deeper connection with your dog and you want them to communicate with them more effectively it is such that both of them really really take dogs from where they are and to where you want them to be and with really loving techniques um zach is fully positive uh reinforcement whereas uh it's near the dog um, she is, she does do a little correction, but her correction is just vocal. It, there's, and it's not screaming or anything. There's no yelling at the dog or hitting the dogs. And that's what I like. And I think it's not realistic to believe that you're never going to have to correct your dog. You will, but it doesn't have to be physical and it doesn't have to be loud. You can just correct your dog. So really good channels um as far as like interesting thing go interesting things go one of my favorite channels is cpg gray i love his little um animations and i love his quirky but dry sense of humor he's so so funny and awesome and he really digs deep into stuff um Ooh, we're already seven minutes in on this video. Okay. Um, let's just go ahead and talk about my favorite thing on YouTube. Um, with one honorable mention for news, which is Philip DeFranco. I watch a lot of news things. There's all kinds of channels I watch. I'm not going to discuss all those. The one I watch every day without fail if there's a video up is Philip DeFranco. I never skip his videos. I don't always agree with Phil, but he always tells me the truth. He doesn't try to skirt around things that are uncomfortable. He just tells you the truth. And I appreciate that. Um, and he also tells you his opinion about the truth. And I appreciate that as well. And like I said, I don't always agree with it. But you never agree with anybody all the time. You just don't. That's not possible. So I don't worry about that. So my favorite thing on youtube of anything i've ever watched or even ever will watch i imagine although you know you gotta you gotta keep open for change is the movie trivia schmodown i am so emotionally invested in this show the movie trivia schmodown is just that a movie trivia show but run a little bit like a WWE wrestling match. There are factions and tournaments and bad guys and good guys and characters. And it's all amazing, wonderful, fantastic fun. Uh, if you like movies, then you should be watching the movie Trivia Schmodown. They do live events. They have gone several places in the country. Um, they are planning more. I know they do some in L.A. a lot because they are based in L.A. Sorry, my hair was tickling my ear. Um, and I love it. I just the two people that started it are the Schmoes. The Schmoes know uh, they do movie reviews. They're also stand-up comedians, although 
I'm not sure Christian does a lot of stand-up anymore. I'm not positive. But it's Christian Harloff and Mark Ellis. And they both occasionally even play in the Schmodown. Um, and are amazing. I have loved the show for a couple of years now. Um, I, I just can't recommend it more highly. Of all the things on YouTube that are enjoyable, the movie trivia schmodown is way, way, way up there. So please check it out. They need all the support that they can get. I know that my channel is not going to feed a ton of viewers over there. Maybe one day it will. Who knows? But I love them. And I just felt like I wanted to do a video about them. But not, I figured I would just roll a few of the YouTube channel favorites in there and talk about them as well. Um, also, a really quick, somebody just popped into my head, one of my favorite nail channels, just as a really, really, really quick honorable mention. Because she is awesome and she is, she's learning and growing and teaching as she goes and she's in nail school and she's amazing. And I absolutely love her and it's nails by or nailed by Nikki. Let me double check myself before I rickety wreck myself. I want to say it's nailed by Nikki. She is oh I did not just do that. If I'm gonna click on a channel that did you know that Nick Varios from Varos Varios Varios? Yes, it's nailed nailed by Nikki and Nikki is N-I-K-K-I. I love her. She calls her her watchers nail crew. She says cute in the cutest way, and I absolutely love her. But um, did you know Nick Varios has his own YouTube channel where he's teaching people to sew? Get over there and learn to sew. And with that, I'm going to say good day to you. We will see you tomorrow for a shopping vlog. I'm going shopping to Ross and Marshall's and maybe Dee Dee's and Burlington's and a couple of other spots. So if anything cool happens and I'm there, so something cool is gonna happen, I will vlog it. So you might even get two or three vlogs tomorrow, but we're not gonna count it. I mean, I'm gonna count it as a vlog count, but I'm still gonna keep vlogging every day in May, even if tomorrow had four vlogs. So, mwah! have a good night. We'll talk to you then.